week before that. No, come on. I mean, that looks like somebody should take a picture or something. I just put sprinkles and stuff on it. That's going to knock Blake and Ross on their ears. Sometimes I'm so proud of you, I just... I don't know what to do. So I guess maybe I'll answer the door. Oh, boy. Ah, hi, guys. Hey. Hey, Patrick. Patrick. How are you Patrick's Day. Hi, honey. Hi, Michelle. All right, where do you want the salad? The refrigerator or the table? Uh, the table. I'm hungry and it's my house. Going to eat early. Oh, what a house. Is he always like this? Usually worse. <laughs> Help, there's not enough salad. I didn't invite anyone. That's probably just the guy collecting for the newspapers. Great lasagna ad. I should probably lie and tell him I made it. He bought it at the gourmet store on the way home from the hospital. That's a girl, Michelle. You keep him honest, okay? Yeah, we can dance hard, work all day, come home, cook all night. Didn't bother Michelle. She put in a hard day at school, and then she came back and made this dessert all by herself. Ooh, you did? Nice. Wow. You know, we should get those glass plates. Where are they, in uh, Grandma's uh, china closet? They're too fancy. Nothing is too fancy for this dessert. Come on, I'm gonna get them. This cake deserves the star treatment. Da uh, yes. It's just a cake. It's nothing special. Oh well, I uh, I didn't make cakes when I was your age. I'm gonna go tell him not to use this plate. Why? He just wants to show you off. I hate it when people show off. Well, there she goes, Mother of the Year. Well, honey, I think she feels badly for Ed. He's knocking himself out. And Michelle's finding this public attention excruciating. Yeah. You know, I, I, I used to feel that way when I was a kid. I remember my mother always saying that I was imagining people looking at me. You're not that interesting, she said. <laughs> Is it any wonder that I ask you to say you love me about a hundred times a day? <laughs> oh, by the way, what is the love meter up to here today? We're about 97, aren't we? Yeah, that means you owe me three more. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, paid in full. Hey, where are Michelle and Holly? I think Michelle had the, the stage panic attack. Executive decision? Michelle has kindly decided that since I brought Kate, too, we're going to cut them both in half, and then everyone will have a little bit of both. Well, that's very diplomatic. I wish I'd thought of it first. Do you two men need any help, or can I go powder my nose? Oh, for heaven's sakes, go powder your nose. We're big, strong men. We have things under control. Yeah. Good. Thanks. How much do you want to bet she's going to go spy on Holly and Michelle? Why? Because she's got this morbid fascination about Holly having uh, parental feelings for someone who's not her child. Yeah. Well, if she finds out Holly's secret, tell her to let me in on it. I can't say two words to Michelle at this point without making her cringe. Well, it's not your fault. Uh, she's just hypersensitive for any number of reasons. You know, we were having fun before. I mean, before dinner. Actually having fun. It was sort of like the way it used to be. Almost. And then I had to go overboard about the damn cake. I know. You didn't go overboard, Ed. It's just that Michelle can't stand being the center of attention. I mean, Blake was telling me she used to feel that way all the time. Blake's looking good. So are you, sort of a far cry from the desperate man I waited out the storm with. Well, the risk of losing somebody can really put things in perspective. I think I'm finally beginning to understand how lucky I am. The Monopoly board's been set up for 15 minutes, but it's taking you so long. It's taking us so long as we're discussing strategy out here. And Ross is going to go for all the railroads. Smart move while I am going to buy a park place and boardwalk. <laughs> and I've got no stomach for real estate deals, so I'm going to go. Thank you for a wonderful day. No, you can't go. Yes, I mean, I wasn't supposed to be here in the first place. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, we're going to Yeah, hello. Uh huh. Oh, I was kind of afraid of that. All right, listen, uh, just keep them on 10, put them on 10 milligrams till I get there and keep them quiet, all right? No, I'll be right there, okay. 
Why is there always an emergency when you're having such a good time? That's one of Murphy's other laws. I'm sorry. Now you really have to stay. All right, I'll stay for a while. I'll stay till you come back. Thanks. Everybody, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for having us. Don't stay up too late. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, Michelle, actually, Blake and I have to be leaving, too, so... If you haven't already sold our coats, could you show me where they are? Well, you certainly got Michelle wrapped around your little finger. Chris, I guess that's a good way to go about it. To go about what? Well, they say the best route to the father is by way of the child. You know, Blake, not everyone is as obsessed with men as you are. There are some of us who have actually found other reasons for being alive. Oh, I see. So suddenly, after all these years, you find it rewarding to spend time with a little girl just in and of itself? Is that what they call better late than never? <laughs> <laughs> 